Good morning, folks. You can see heavy rainfall in northern Australia. More water vapor trying to make it to New Zealand, but the high pressure lingering over much of the area will have things mostly calm. Yesterday, one observer remarked that the high pressure over the UK looked strong enough to block the huge Atlantic spanning low, and how about that? Spinning due north just off the coastline. Here's a quick look at your warnings. This link, and one for everything said and shown, is in the description box so you can find this stuff on your own. Something interesting, the month of March fully updated. We witnessed twice the cold records as heat records and nearly 250% of the precipitation records. That last part holds true over even longer scales. Heat and cold are breaking the books, but both below the rain and snow. Out west will contrast near calm with downpours and snow based on your locale. Clouds aren't doing anything unpredictable. The severe watch zone tonight, as always, is at the leading edge of the low pressure. Exact location is likely to change, so check it again after lunch. Couple unusual seismic notes. Iceland has not seen an earthquake like this in a long time. Katla, volcano there, is one of the few things that worries me. I had said the Canary Islands took their largest quake since the volcano erupted in 2011, when larger ones used to happen regularly, and that fact was confirmed by the Spanish authorities yesterday. But the prime story, especially veteran observers of the watch factors. This is yesterday afternoon. The green opening set the coronal hole in an earth-facing position. The largest coronal hole up north is partially blocked by umbral fields. We'll likely see only its wind stream, but the southern opening has no such restriction. By lunchtime in Columbus, Ohio, the comment section was already talking about it. It was not for some hours later that Japan took a 6.0 at 1853 UTC. And let's focus on timing. 1853 UTC. Solar wind metrics appear to be dropping off, but around 1900 yesterday, the solar wind began showing unstable readings. You should all know by now, however, space weather can affect Earth well before the solar wind arrives. Here you see a sharp change to the induction, but an hour before the destabilized solar wind. This was around 1800 UTC. This only seems odd if you don't know space weather. Let's look at the energetic flux it caused. This is the ACE proton count. We show one spike right around 1900. Zooming in, the little hashes are exactly 10 minutes, so when we come to look at the beginning of this energy spike, I see 1850, maybe 1851. This is about 10 to 12 minutes before that solar wind spike, and about 2 minutes before the Japan quake. Folks, this is not conspiracy or fringe science. I have shown the electroquake studies, and one day static monitors should give us minutes to hours warning of specific locations to be hit. I know some governments are already talking about it. As you can see, the destabilization was very short-lived. Inductions disappeared as the solar wind died down and no plasma penetrated during that event. The Earth footprint, our magnetic connection, is the reason space weather can arrive before the solar wind streams, and it is set near the departing active region on the northwestern limb. On the right, you see the connectivity is strongly at that location. Now, normally we'd worry about particle flux from a flare on the footprint, but the sun is quiet and has been for some time. If she's going to pop, Smart Money says it's either going to be this big beta spot on the south, which is so close to delta on the back side of the positive blue, or it's going to be one of these active regions up north, and this one out here in front was born last night and spreading quickly. Last thing to point out, a tiny filament eruption near center disk. It produced a very small CME, which likely won't even be detectable amidst the coronal hole stream, but which does look amazing up close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.